is Emma again from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your Zimbra main server using the Zimbra administration console. So let's get started. So this is our mail server. Uh, it is pointed to mail.sslguys.com.au which is the domain name. As you can see this is not yet secure and we are going to make sure that it is. So the first thing that we're going to do is generate a private key and a CSR or a certificate signing request. To do that, we're going to go to the Zimbra administration console again, go to configure, go to certificates. And on the top right, you'll find the gear icon. Click on that and click on install certificate. Select the target server, click on next and click on the second option which is generate the CSR for the commercial certificate authorizer and click on next. So basically a CSR or a customer signing request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority which contains all necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So we, we can replace the existing CSR for now. If you're doing this for the first time, you need not check this option. Uh, choose the hashing algorithm. SHA 256 is the norm and key length, we're gonna go with 2048. Common name, type in your domain name or the subdomain name if you've registered, if you've pointed the DNS or if you've installed Zebra on your subdomain such as mail.sslguys.com.eu. So that will be our common name and country name. And you can select use wildcard common name if you're planning to get a wildcard certificate. But for now, in our case, we're going to go with mail.sslguides.com.au. So we're going to uncheck this for now. Country name, type in the two letter abbreviation for your country, then your state, then your city, then the name of your organization. Then the organizational units such as IT. You can add or remove subject alternate names depending on what kind of certificate do you want to purchase and configure. And the next thing that we're going to click on is the next button. And you should be displayed with your certificate sign in request. You can click on this button right here to download your CSR. And let's save it as SSL guide CSR on our desktop. Let's open this up. And this is how we can successfully generate a CSR. And now we'll move on to purchase and configure our SSL certificate. Okay, so I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage and I'm gonna move on to purchase and configure my SSL certificate. So basically for a mail server, you can either use a multi-domain or a wildcard SSL certificate depending on the needs of your business or organization. You can always contact our sales or support team and they will be sure to easily guide you through the process of selecting an SSL certificate for your business. But for now, to buy an SSL certificate, we can choose multi-domain or wildcard certificates. Scroll down. Choose your certificate. Choose the duration of your certificate. Scroll down again and click on buy SSL. You can add in a promo code if you have one and you can estimate your taxes and click on checkout. Fill in your details. Generate your pass a password for your account. And you can use one of these five payment methods to complete your order. And once you do that, you can now head over to the SSL Trust dashboard. 
and view your certificates. So let's go to the home page. Click on the dashboard. Let's log in. And now that you've once you've purchased your certificate, you will see it here at the dashboard with the name of your account. Now we can start the certificate configuration. You can either click on this button right here or you can provide the following URL to the appropriate person to complete the configuration for you. But we are doing this ourselves, so we'll click on this button right here. And now what we're going to do is paste in our certificate sign request. So copy this from the very start to the very end. And paste it right here. Click on the verify CSR button here. And make sure the details are all correct. And you can add in subject alternate names or additional domains for your multi-domain SSL certificate. But since this is a demo video, we are going to only install it on our mail subdomain name. And you can add in multiple addresses here. Server type, we're going to click on other as we have no option for Zimbra. And click on next step. Fill in your details here. Now, if you're the admin and you have a technical contact to do the installation or the configuration for you, please enter his or her details here. Otherwise, we're going to use admin details for this one. Click on next step. And now comes the important part, which is domain control validation for your SSL certificate. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own the domain name and have complete access to it. You can now use one of these four methods to validate your domain name. So the brief introduction to these methods. The first one is the email method. You need to have one of these few email addresses on which you will be sent an email once you click on submit configuration. And then when you open that email, you'll find a link on which when you click on it, then your domain should be validated and you'll be issued with your certificate. The second option is the HTTP file method. So basically, you need to access your server via the command line interface and navigate to this very directory and create a text file with this exact name and copy and paste these contents into that file and wait for it to propagate through your server and then your domain control validation should be complete. The third or the easiest method that we're going to use is the CNAME record method. So basically, you need to go to your DNS settings on the, with either with your domain provider or your hosting provider and create a CNAME record with this uh, subdomain and this the alias or the point in two value so i'm going to show you just how to do that so let's go to our dns settings so this is the main dns settings right here now what we're going to do is add record set then this is the subdomain or the CNAME record, copy it and paste it right here as it is. The same goes for the point two value or the CNAME value. Copy it and paste it right here. Or select CNAME, paste it right here and click on create. So once your record is clicked created, we can come back here and click on the check DNS button. Check DNS record right here. Click on search and it should take a few minutes up to an hour for the DNS record to propagate 
and for the DNS checker to successfully validate the propagation of your record. So keep coming back here in a few minutes, but for now you can submit your configuration. And our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are waiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. And as you can see, domain control validation was complete. So basically, if it takes more than a few minutes or more than an hour, hour technically, you can come back here, click on this drop down menu, select the domain control validation method you used, and then click on submit just to refresh the things on the Sectigo server's end. So that's it, and you can access the if you're lost, you can head back over to the SSL source dashboard, select your certificate, and there will be an option here to access your validation manager. So that will make sure that you can always uh, access the validation manager and make sure your DNS records are propagated. So take this out. Selenium value is good to go. Let's close this up. Now we can collect or download our SSL certificate. So click on this button right here. And we are gonna download it and in individual certificate files with a .pem or .cer extension. Let's go with the .pem extension and click on download certificate. It'll be a zip file, let's call it SSL guides dash cert and click on save open this up extract it to your desktop or to a folder whatever you're comfortable with and now we can move on to install and enable our SSL certificate okay so we're back here at the Zimbra administration console so what we're going to do now is click on configure again certificates the gear icon on the top right and click on install certificate select your target server next and we're gonna install the commercially signed certificate select this option click on next and now what we're gonna do is check how many intermediate files you have we have two so we'll add intermediate an intermediate file so now choose your certificate files Head over to desktop and this is our certificate file right here click on open choose your root certificate file the first intermediate certificate and the second intermediate certificate which should be right here now once you have successfully uploaded them all you can click on next and click on install okay so once you have uploaded and installed all of your certificates, it is now time to access your server via the command line interface. So we're going to close this up and open your preferred ACSH client and access your server. So the first thing that we're going to do is change our working user to Zimbra, SU Zimbra, press enter. And now we're going to type in the command zm control restart. Press enter. Okay, so basically we are restarting our server to make sure that the configurations reload again, the, the read again. And we are going to move on now to test the installation of our certificate on our website. Okay, so it looks like our server has restarted. Let's close this up. And let's type in https double slash colon double slash your domain name dot com or the subdomain email is dot ssl guys dot com au and the port number. And once you hit enter, you'll see that we have an active SSL certificate on our server. Our connection to the site is now secure. If you click on it, you'll see that 
is mail.ssrpatch.com.au issued by Sectigo. Details, the certification path, everything looks good. So now what we can do is test the installation of the certificate on our server. So we can go to a website called sslabs.com and click on the test your server button here. Copy your domain address and paste it right here and click on submit. So let's wait for the results. Okay, so we're done with the SSL Labs test and looks like we got an overall rating of A, which is quite good. Scroll down, check everything. TLS, the older versions of TLS are disabled. Good. And basically, if you get an overall rating of A on your SSL Labs test, then your certificate protocol support, key exchange, and cipher strength are really good. And this is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on your Zimbra mail server through the Zimbra administration console. Now, if you were easily able to install your SSL certificate, please like this video. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. And I do need to mention that there is a written, written guide available for the installation of an SSL on Zebra in the very description of this video. And that's it. Signing off now.